These are the replica signs I bought for Deb at the steam rally. They're quite nice, she likes them, she set them out the way she wants them. And this shed here, I've got a friend, his wife's going to come and do a mural. Is it a mural or a mural? And it's going to be a mural of a steam wagon and a steam roller. I've got a two stroke crankcase here, I'm not quite sure what sort of bike it's off. Uh, but the lad can't get one, and it's got one or two. In fact, it's got four serious defects on it. I'll bring the camera in and show you them. The first one to go for is to try and get the stud out. I'll use TIG and I'll weld a nut on there. Just I've got the machine set up for steel at the minute. So I'll weld a nut on there, try and get that out and go from there. I need to know what height that's supposed to be as well to put that boss back on there. If he wants to put them back on. Uh, I've cleaned it up with acetone and a wire brush uh, and a grinder. Because this was all covered in adult or some sort of Somewhat equally as horrible. So we'll get a nut, weld it onto there, and see if we can get that out. I'll weld the washer on first, then weld the nut onto the washer, and then hopefully it'll come out. It certainly feels good, it does feel good. I'm not a one to blow my own trumpet, but that's a fucking miracle. Right, so that's that one. Out, happy with that. Right around with AC now, I'm going to try and fill that little hole in. So for a change it appears to be decent material, that's well it is, very nicely indeed, happy with that. Right, the next one is to try and build this up, I've put the side out of it so I can get down into it, build that up with weld. Right now for the, the stud hole, I've cleaned it up and that bit there has fell off altogether so I've got to build, I'm going to build that bit there up first. I'm going to chop all this off here eventually but if we look around the side there's a crack there. I've drilled the crack all the way out so I'll weld that crack up as well and then I'm going to do some damage to this. So the first thing is to try and Get that back, try and build that up to the same height as that, join it into there and then like I say all this is going to get chopped off.
So I've got that crack welded up. I've got that built up again, nice and strong and level. So I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to dig the bottom of this out to the full depth so we can build it up solid, get some decent, uh, a decent repair. It's no good just trying to drip a little bit of aluminium in there. You've got to get, you've got to be cruel to be kind and cut the bastard right back. Right, so now you can see I've chopped the whole corner off. That's the bottom of the hole there. So I'm going to build all this up with nice new solid fill metal. Drill it and tap it. So we can get some decent arc shots of this build up. It should go quite nicely because it's back, they say it's back a nice clean metal. We'll give it a try. Right, so we built this full corner up, solid weld, that's definitely plenty of material on. What I'll do, I'll mill this flat first. And then once we find out where the hole is, use a file out and just blend this in. But I've certainly put plenty on. I don't have to weld it again, it's welded really nicely. It's some of the best aluminium I've actually ever welded uh, on Japanese motorbikes. Really happy with it. Right, that welded up quite nicely. I'm just going to take the thickest of it off now, then I'll finish it off with a, a nice smooth file. Nice solid look of metal, the build looks good. I'll probably put a heli coil in there just for an extra little bit of strength. I think possibly the worst thing you could do is use that fail that quitter in there, that would literally tear the back of your hand way to open. Ask us how I know. We'll take the cutter out. Yeah, that's pretty good, certainly settled for that. That's machined up quite nicely. I've machined that one there flat. I need the bracket or it goes onto here to get the height of that into the pickle hole centre up. Now we need to drill and tap this. I have got the, the casing that's going to go onto it, but the casing's held on with there's two dowels. That's the hole there. Now I'm going to put a helicoil insert in there. And that is the helicoil drill, which is a really good fit in the hole. So as long as we line the, that up with a hole, it's going to be good to go. And I know it needs to be 25 mil deep because I measured it before starting to hack the casing apart.
Looks nice in there, nice solid build up, no blow holes or nothing. This is a special heli coil tap for 8x105. Right now for the insert, I don't put Loctite or anything on these, I just screw them in dry. I haven't ever found the need to Loctite them in. Right, that's quite well through the surface. A little bit more. A little tool to knock that tag off with. Put a magnet on the end, it sometimes brings them out, sometimes it doesn't. I turn it upside down and use the airline, but I'm happy with that, definitely happy with that. So that's back to standard 8mm, in case of cleaning that up now. It's actually not that bad, there's not that much to come off it. That side there is good. Just a little bit to come off there, not a great lot. Right, that's a finished repair. He probably got to spend a bit more time dressing that up. So I bought the standard A105. That 6 milli was rescued, that hole is welded up. All I need to do now is find out where the hole is and the height of that for the train guard. The sprocket guard goes around there. But it has repaired very nicely.